Hello, uh, Red Crate 7, and welcome back to Combat Mission Black Sea. We are continuing with the Striker uh, campaign, the Charger Striker Brigade, and this is the No Fear scenario. Uh, so, the backstory to this is that our assault uh, of the uh, Dimis Bank of Dnieper are starting to slow down, be bogged down in stiffening Russian resistance. So our recon team under uh, 2CR have been tasked with securing an alternative crossing over the river uh, to open up a manoeuvre element for the larger attack. We are dealing with uh, some very familiar strike formations by now. Now I was worried about casualties in the last one and how they were going to transfer through to future uh, missions. But that's not going to be a problem for this one, and it's not because everyone has been replenished, but it's because we're dealing with Fox Troops. It was Eagle Troop who were bravely and boldly bashing their way forward last time and took some fair casualties, uh, but we've got a whole bunch of fresh troops for this mission. Um, yeah, so what's what we have to do? Well, I see we've got to secure an objective across the river here, along this uh, long bridge, primarily focused on the, the, I suppose, the immediate river crossing, and then the town centre nearby, given the uh, target's objective, saddle and blade. There's a number of smaller touch objectives. Again, these aren't worth huge amounts of points, so I'll keep them in mind, but I'm not going to prioritise them. And finally, we have an objective of uh, causing 40% casualties on the enemy side and keeping friendly casualties below 20%. Uh, so what have we got? Well, as I said already, it's some very familiar strike formations. So at the start, we have uh, two platoons from Fox Troop here. We will eventually get to play with almost uh, the uh, full troop. So uh, after five minutes, we're going to get their MGS uh, platoon's going to turn up, and then after 15 minutes we're going to get the Sapper and the HQ. The third platoon is eventually going to turn up, but not f uh, until 7 o'clock, which is actually an hour from now. So, with the exception of some added time, they're not really going to be involved. So we've got about kind of two-thirds of our troop here. Uh, as per usual, the first thing I've done is go along each and every squad and use the acquire button to make sure they have picked up a javelin already. Because uh, it's very frustrating when I forget to do that and then try to dismount them. In terms of the, in fact, in terms of our support before I look at the enemy, uh, we've got our usual UAV drone, which has uh, been super handy, and I think it's going to keep uh, being a key asset for our teams here. Only one of them, though. I would have liked a second, but there you go. Uh, in addition, after about 30 minutes, we're going to get some Apache support as per the last mission, so that should be good. And then for artillery, we've got some 120 mil on uh, off-map mortars. And then... Oh, I thought they were from the start. Uh, perhaps not. Okay, so they might be turning off our slight delay, and then after 20 minutes we're getting some 155 howitzers. Uh, I will need to... No, let me double check the briefing. Tactical map. Uh, yeah, it says that should we ha should have these at the start. Okay. I'll... Uh, I'll uh, yeah, but, but we'll see. We'll see. We might turn up later. We might turn up just when we go live. I don't know. I'll not worry about it while I'm trying to narrate what's going on. Uh, in our opposition, we are facing the 34th Mountain Motor Rifle Brigade. Uh, so a bunch of infantry. We've been told they have Tiger vehicles. I'm going to assume they've got some kind of BP, BTRs or other IFVs uh, in amongst themselves. We'd also see here they put in some fortifications. There's some sandbags here, um, and I suspect they might have anti-tank teams. We certainly saw that in previous missions set up in a few places as well. So it could be tricky, especially trying to dig them out of the urban environment of Objective Blade there. So what is our plan? Well, we've only got an hour on the clock, which isn't as long as it might feel. Um, and I think yeah, primarily is going to be to make sure we push across saddle. So general plan for getting over the river. I kind of skipped a little bit, we'll come back to it. Is going to be to set up a fire base, uh, probably in this little outlet, um, and also in this wooded area, which will then allow us to put uh, enough fire onto saddle and potentially support it by some mortar assets if they turn up, uh, to then push units across the bridge and to kind of secure that beachhead position. And then we'll bring everyone else over um, and then push it onto blade. And then for blade, I suspect um, it's going to be a much heavier use of our artillery win because it'll be online as well as our air assets to really try and pummel anything and everything in there before we send in troops. Uh, just because urban environment, you know, short lines of sight, easy to walk into uh, ambushes and easy to get my pixel trooping killed. 
So, but to do that, we need to clear out this little uh, side of the river, and we have got some contacts already in terms of infantry and a vehicle. So, what first thing we'll do is throw up our uh, UAV, which is under this FO, just to spot out exactly what's going on there. Uh, I'm going to have first platoon push up this road along this edge of the map, which is uh, kind of hidden from the Russian, the known Russian positions, I should say, by a little bit of a, uh, a slight rise, um, and then they're going to come in and out up uh, onto this little rise here which will not only give them eyesight into the back of this suspected Russian position but gives them a, a, a where they need to be for pushing on to or providing a fire base for objective saddle. Second platoon meanwhile is going to push more in towards CP125 just kind of come up this way. Um, I am going to hold them where they are until we get eyes in the skies after a couple of minutes uh, just to make sure we're not walking into BTR fire. And then we will, uh, yeah, come through this position, engage the kind of Russians we have here, uh, and move to not only get the touch point, but to secure this area so we can provide sub fire support onto objective saddle, and probably uh, at least one uh, platoon over to, sorry, one squad I should say, with eyes over to this area to try and identify and maybe put some fire into Russians if they're moving around over here. But primarily, we want to push towards that. So that's a kind of the the rough plan. Again, I, I'm going to let the drone get up so we can see what's going on, uh, and then we will push forward. Timing-wise, because I say I were a lot less than it feels like. Ideally, I'd probably like to have my fire bases set up by by the end of 15 minutes. So really looking to try and steamroll over the top of this position. Um, and then be kind of contesting with troops on the ground over here by the kind of half hour mark which then gives us half an hour to really kind of chew through blade with that additional support it does depend what resistance we meet we have been told we're gonna to have to conduct a deliberate attack um, and uh, I don't want to kind of charge forward needlessly but I'm I'm conscious sometimes I I'm too conservative at the start of missions and then feel rushed towards the end, so I'm going to try and keep myself on a bit of a clock, and we'll see how it goes. So without any further ado, um, I will give my guys some orders, I'll send the platoons, well, first platoon racing off and second platoon standing ready, uh, and then we'll I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes, probably once we've got some eyes and we're uh, starting to kick off the combat. Alright, so we're now a couple of minutes down the line and our eyes in the skies have spotted this Russian vehicle and it has transpired to be a Tiger. So, nice note when the briefing is correct. This one is sporting an AGS-17 uh, automatic grenade launcher, so one which could definitely cause problems to my infantry. Uh, it less for threat for strikers, although uh, the 30mm grenades could probably cause them a bad day. But as long as we uh, get kind of first rounds away, we can take care of Tigers relatively easily. which. Yeah, it's going to be a good thing, and I'll come back to it later. I'll just hide the green blob. Um, second thing, I did uh, disparage some troops just to get up uh, some eyes in position over here to help with the spotting and scouting. Um, so I've taken uh, third squad here. I've split them into two teams, and I'm now going to get the anti-tank team to come forward. And we'll just take that out with a, a javelin. Meanwhile, I've grabbed our heavy machine gun here to get ourselves set up with the kind of eyes down this road and deploy so they can help kind of engage with the Russians to the front once we've take, cleared out that vehicle. Uh, I have got them on a target arc at the minute because I don't really want to start engaging until they've properly set up the machine gun. So no real concerns there. Over on the left flank, however, we have bumped into something, uh, another vehicle contact. I'm hoping that's a Tiger or else this striker is about to have a real bad day. So I've they originally had move orders to come into here. I've paired them back. Um, and we're just going to stop and we're just going to have to engage with our striker vehicles. My other concern is that where there is, uh, you know, a Russian vehicle, there's going to be Russian infantry. So there's a good chance there's some people in and around here. So we're going to have to maybe approach this with a bit of caution, probably use some target firing just to kind of clear the edge of the trees. Um, because, you know, infantry are exceptionally dangerous with uh, a plethora of AT weapons which we engage at from close range. So maybe we'll we'll kick things off over here. We'll follow for this minute and we'll see what uh, what happens. Alright, before we do anything, let's quick pause. Grenades out. Well, that's another Tiger with another automatic grenade launcher. He did get some shots away and then looks like... Where's he gone? Or maybe we've just lost sight of him. Oh, he just tucks his head down. Oh no, he gets his head taken off. Okay, so that's a 50 cal from our striker. 
And there's some grenades from our other striker. Okay, well, first blood to us. That could have been a bit differently, though. As you saw, the grenades come out at the start. We can rewind and have a, have a watch of that. So this was definitely a dangerous position. I've got myself into straight off the bat. Especially with our gents with our heads poking out. Probably sense to have been... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so these, these ones do have the remote weapon system. And we don't need our um, gunner to come out and fire. Okay, that's fantastic. That makes them much more useful. Good. Uh, yeah, so target one down. Happy days. Now we just have to be wary of what else is lurking within those wood lines. Uh, and then let's just check our AT team here. Where are you? Really, gents? Oh. Speaking of things which are close. We have found ourselves... Ooh, that's dangerous. Who spotted that? Okay. One of the... You have tremendous eyes, my friend. You can see through a hill. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have found ourselves a Russian anti-tank team. I'll see... Uh, with their RPG, they're, they're incredibly dangerous. So, um, I'm actually I'm pretty fortunate to have got that contact with Tyre because if I had rolled my strikers in as was the original plan, he could have quite easily have taken out one of them before we responded. So we'll have to, yeah, probably area fire that that section. I'm really upset, but you can't see. Let's just quickly quickly check your target. You can't. You claim you can't see. I'm going to scoot you forward a little bit. Alright, go stand yourselves here. I, I don't want you to get engaged though, but you should be far enough away that they'll have difficulty seeing. Um, and then we've got to work out what to do with this fine position. Well, it seems like it's a good place for our automatic grenade launcher to get involved, really. So I think what we're going to do, uh, I'll set up a couple of uh, target fire, perhaps. From over here, because what I don't want to do is let, get, allow them the opportunity to engage, because that's generally where bad things are going to happen. So I'll set up some strike orders, um, probably get multiple units to come in and start lay down, laying down fire. Uh, I will get this one probably to come over the back of the hill, get all of them to come around, uh, and then we'll see what we can do there. All right, let me go plug those orders in. Okay, so I'm not taking any uh, chances with this AT team, so I'm having my automatic grenade launcher pop up and start to engage straight away. I've got the 50 cal on this side who's doing a variety of target orders, which I think the first ones might be slightly off target, which is why I'm correcting towards the end. I'm also getting his troops to jump out, so we're going to start combing these wood lines. Um, and I'm having my command vehicle pop up onto the ridge line here. And likewise with this one, we'll, we'll, we'll try and kind of flush them out. I'm not giving you guys target orders, just so I don't feel to respond to any of our threats. But I really need to get this guy suppressed uh, before he feels bold enough to get the shot off. Let us see if this is good enough. And it's going to slightly depend on timing, because I want him to start shooting before he gets into range. Okay, that's good. And you can see they've gone straight to ground, actually. This calc opens up and it is slightly to the side. That looks better, though. Okay, Russian's having a bad day. Good. Oh, and first casualties here. Excellent, 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 excellent. Neither of these gents seem to be equipped with the... Oh no, it's there, here it goes. Boop. There's the rocket launcher. So he is now out of the action. So a lot less of a threat. It's just a man with a machine gun. In behind we've spotted presumably some more uh, Russian infantry. Just, uh, they will obviously have... There you go, Is a single use anti-tank weapons, we've got to keep an eye on that, as well as just general machine guns, but our striker here is, ha um, I was going to say he's happily engaging, I think he's engaging the targets to his left. Uh, no he's not, alright, so we'll have to keep an eye on him, I'm sure he did though, let's go back. He was, yeah. Good. Alright. They looks like they're retreating slightly off this way, but we'll have to be careful. Large amounts of area firing grenades, I think, is what we'll use. Uh, so, yeah, I'd probably like to 
get two of those going and you eventually round to this position so we can kind of grenade fire into these wood lines. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, hello. Uh, another anti-tank team. You are cowering because someone's shooting at you. Have you spotted the wrong thing? No, no, you've spotted the uh, vehicle. Okay, this is good. You gonna do anything about it? What's my anti-tank doing? Anti-tank's currently moving. Maybe this guy here. There he goes, javelin's out. Ah, okay. So then who... Aha! Okay, excellent work. <laughs> See, as useful not having them in a target order, they've been able to identify and pop that. Right, let's, uh, I want to roll quite quickly into this one because I would like to take out that uh, vehicle. Uh, you should be deploying. Semi-deployed, you're in the middle of setting up, so we'll let you finish that. Um, and then you can also hold down that route as well. I'm pretty happy with everything that's going on over here. I'm going to lose your target order. Who can still see them? It's actually the grenade people, which uh, I think is fine. So let's lose your target and see if you can launch some grenades at them. Apparently you can't. Oh, is it your troops in the back can see? No, it's you. All right, fine. Let's have you pull forward a little bit then. Hopefully to engage. Likewise, we'll have you pull forward a little bit. And we do want to keep engaged with that soldier and our troops on the ground will do so. This is all hunky-dory. Uh, you are currently shooting. I do want to swing you around, but maybe we'll hold fire for a turn. Let's not take any chances. Uh, I mean, he does only have a machine gun. He might have grenades and things, though. Yeah, let's hold it. It's only taking four minutes. We've got a little bit of time on our clock. Those mortars uh, never did turn up, so I don't know where they are or what they're doing. Hopefully they'll turn up at another point. But let's uh, let's watch the first javelin kill, albeit slightly overkill against a tiger, but fun nevertheless. He's thinking about it. Come on, man. There we go. And okay, only expecting one outcome. And I didn't get it. What? What? You missed. I can't believe I missed. <laughs> oh. Slay upsetting. Okay. We've got lots of things flying in that direction. We have seen off the last of the Russian here. We've identified more. Oh, another anti tank team, actually. Dangerous. Albeit they're having a bad day, which is good. We like it when the Russians have a bad day. So pretty happy with the exception of that javelin mist, how things are uh, panning out for just now. But yeah, all these all these Russians with RPGs is going to be a bit of a threat. Um, I think what we're going to do for this tiger is get someone with 50 cal. Uh, just to pop up like here, and they're just going to hold them down with that instead. We tried to do it the old... Uh, tech savvy way and now we'll just go back to basics and we'll uh, pump and fill of 50 cal bullets and you're gonna have to go pick up another javelin my friend back in your truck you, you haven't got eyes you should be uh, yeah you're in a good position ah okay you can't see those foxholes I'm gonna leave where you are for just now I'm not gonna exp I, I'm gonna keep the target arc on until we have dealt with the um the Tiger there, and then you can maybe help hose down a few positions here. Looks like there's some foxholes at the corner of the road we can fire. Okay, good. All right, I'll go uh, tweak the orders. I think we'll we'll probably spend another term just saturating these guys with fire uh, before we move in. Okay, we'll go. We'll look at that tire shot in a minute. But just as we're continuing to hose down my own Russian positions, things are going relatively well um, until I notice my gunner here has 
popped up. Uh, and although the weapon system obviously can fire without them being present, they do need to expose themselves to reload it. And unfortunately, the moment he stuck his head up, some Russians based on that hill caught sight of him and took his head off. And then to make matters worse, one of our other strikers who had been continuing to suppress the RPG position, uh, again, initially no problems at all. And then, interesting though, it's not the gunner, and this is probably actually quite a good outcome, it's a member of the uh, the heavy machine gun team. He decides to get in on the action rights for the leader to reload the grenade launcher, and then he gets his taken off by the same Russian team that's based in these foxholes in back of the uh, back of the hill. So that's, uh, yeah, going from what was a, a pretty perfect start, to having lost two of our pixel troop in, in pretty rapid succession, um, and meaning that uh, this striker, well, I see it's not entirely out of action because we can utilize the machine gun team to take care of that. Interesting enough, you, uh, you only have two members in their team. Uh, let's just double check where that casualty came from. Yeah, and it was definitely the crew. Okay, must just be a two-man squad there, or maybe uh, one of these uh, new fresh teams should be ca ca carrying a casualty. Anyway, so that's all pretty disappointing. In fact, we just lost two pitch group, and otherwise, what had been a fairly uh, pitch perfect start. And then over on this side, here we go. We get our, our spot position. Identifies a tiger. Shoot, it gets 50 cal in on the action pretty quickly. Looks like a pretty good spread there. But it seems to be a, see a cross actually from the first one. So first thing it seems to do is take out the gunner. Like so. Uh, and then follows up to uh, end the driver before he can run away. Oh, someone else popped out. And then he goes. Excellent. Knocked out. Good. Okay, so that's a good outcome. Well, obviously, we've got a known couple of positions here from the foxholes, uh, which weren't causing many problems, although a bit of a concern with the, the couches we've taken over here. But we, well, it's not terrible. It's just frustrating, you know, how these things go. Okay, so we are only kind of six month minutes. So, and things we want to do with you. Well, first off, I think you're in a great position. Oh, you're still deploying your weapon. When you, it must be another minute or so to get that down. In fact, it might even, your, oh, you're 17 seconds to deploy. What pretel is taking you so long? Eh, you look pretty deployed to me. Um, I think I'm just going to get you guys to start hosing down that known position. But there might be some people in the corner here we can deal with as well. Um, I'm going to get you... Oh, you gents can see already, so you can engage that team there. And I'll probably get your striker to come in and help once they're suppressed, and we'll bring up the rest as well. Uh, this position... So, I mean, they're generally okay, aside from the casualties. So we've got uh, another striker swing around here to... Uh, head off the infantry we saw pressing through the woods and we should be able to just press forward and mop up so perhaps unless something of particular note occurs then uh, I might uh, do some of this off camera and we'll come back when we're slightly further forward okay so I think a couple of minutes down the line all going relatively well suppressing known positions no real pushback from the Russians uh, We've lost a few icons just with the smoke that's that's been billowing across here. We've lost sight, but we're just doing it here as far as we can. We do get a little bit of a shock uh, this turn, right there, which I do believe if we can maybe go back and catch it a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> oh boy, talk about uh, getting lucky! Wow. That's, uh, that's, you know, is it skin of a gnat's boss uh, territory there. Okay, so I, I suspect what it is is that over here, where we've got this kind of potential contact in this little position here, is a um, AT squad. So we'll have to bear that in mind with our positioning. Uh, we will have to probably pull him back somewhere else because that's a little bit exposed. Um, yeah, generally we, we got lucky there, and we'll obviously we'll pull this striker out of that position next turn so we don't get a second shot. 
We are getting some snaps of bits and pieces over here. Infantry Tigers, nothing particularly uh, unusual. And in fact, there's confirmation. There he is. Indeed, uh, ATGM 87 crew. So they will be more than willing to have another pop. Um, I think, well, let's just go into command mode, because I think ideally what we'd like to do with them would be drop some mortars on them. But we don't have any, which could cause us actually quite a large amount of difficulty. Uh, and I suspect we are going to be unable, unless we will adjust this, because I want to move them over to this area anyway. Um, we're going to be unable to take that on until we get some support. Probably we're going to have to use the, the mobile gun systems when they come online and do some kind of pop-out fire retreat tactics because uh, it's 20 minutes before we get our, our howitzer on and there isn't really another option we've got in terms of trying to uh, close down and engage that thing. We, I mean, we could, I suppose, try and suppress it with maybe a couple of different strikers from different angles and then push forward. I don't know. That's uh, that's a problem I would normally like to solve with artillery. Uh, either way, right, we will have to get you out of position. Right, I'll continue moving. But anyway, that was a little kind of shock I wanted to share with you. Uh, otherwise, we'll continue just to close in and clear out these positions. Uh, the known uh, Russian team that was here, one of them has dis disappeared off this direction. We kind of lost contact over here slightly. And we haven't seen movement tree that disappeared off this direction again. Uh, but I suspect they're probably in this tree line somewhere. So I'm kind of cautiously advancing because they do have uh, anti-single use anti-tank weapons and I don't want to lose a vehicle early doors. But that's current state of play. So my plan will be for the next couple of minutes just to clear out these known positions um, and then think about what I'm going to do about this AT position. Maybe actually we could set up a, one of the um, machine gun teams here and get them to engage. Not that it would be against... Uh, I mean, the first time the... Russian using AT against some infantry uh, targets, which would definitely cause me a few problems. So yeah, but something we're going to have to think about. Okay, anyway, I shall press on. So apparently they are faster at reloading and firing uh, 87s than what I need to give them. I give them credit for because three seconds of the next minute as we're starting to pull away and we already get hit, which is a, a pretty quick turnaround. Uh, so we lost the striker, the driver, the crew, and the machine gun team in there. So it's a bit, a bit of a blow. Um, yeah, this early on. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes you walk into a bit of an ambush with an AT position. Uh, we did find another tiger over here, and then towards the end of the minute, we get the spot of the last. Uh, oh, you might get lucky with some of these uh, grenade shots. So you're supposed to be aiming at this bit of land here, but I do know they overshoot. Uh, was it? Yeah, we know there's a tiger in here, and we get a spot of an infantry in there just towards the end of the minute, although we haven't yet engaged. Uh, ah, we found you guys. Excellent. You should be having a fairly bad day. I've got quite a lot of fire coming in. Uh, yes, you are. It's good, but I need you to have more of a bad day. I need to have a permanently bad day. But yeah, we've got our infantry engaged here, which is good. Uh, and I've switched my machine gun on to this foxhole here, um, down this route, just so we can try and get these guys suppressed as we close in with this breach team, just to finish them off to clear out this Road. Once we've done that, I'll grab this touch objective for me on. But yeah, a bit of a, bit of a, a sore one to kick things off. Um, we're diff yeah, revenge is required against the AT position. But otherwise, things are going okay. So uh, hopefully we can clear out this bit without further uh, incident. And I think I'm going to maybe try and get an MG team set up somewhere along this wood line. I think down here we've got one on each side to have a, a straight shot into this position. And they do obviously have sandbags and things to protect themselves, which is why some large-scale artillery would be uh, much appreciated, but we haven't got any. So we'll have to do without. But I, have, uh, I have confidence in my team. Okay, this is uh, literally just for the next minute, but it's, it's kind of good, uh, I think, demonstration of the, the general carnage we're inflicting, and sometimes at fairly long range. Uh, one thing I did want to point out was just this period, and actually we'll just come back to that, is there's an AT, an AT team, ah, come back here, has been identified here, so that's something we have to uh, keep an eye of. Obviously guarding this crossing, which is one, one of the touch points. We'll have to, uh, yeah, factor that in when we're shuffling troops around. Uh, we're continuing to absolutely pummel the remaining foxhole positions 
Uh, we have got eyes on the, the Russians here, they're generally curled up having a bad day. Some of our squads, including uh, this one, do, is continuing to take fairly long-range pot shots at the uh, Russians identified in that far bank, which is causing them to, uh, you know, cower in things, if not really inflicting casualties at this stage. I'm happy to give them a bit of a bad day and see what actually got caused some Russians to break and run. But that's not going to go particularly well for you. Is that a sniper? Yeah, a sniper team, okay. As well as a short-ranged AT weapon. Oh, me to catch their whole squad. I think we managed to force out there. That's excellent. Um, and then on the side, there's a last rocket, rocket man, RPG troop. We know there's some more in here. In fact, they started off having a fairly bad day as well. Although I don't think we inflicted any casualties, or maybe we did. As we unloaded some more 40 mil high explosive grenades at them at fairly close range. Uh, and then you so saw just towards the end, we've spotted that tiger vehicle running away from one of our other strikers has come into a fairly precarious situation. Oh, and you may have spotted a bit of a long-range engagement back here, which I may have gone actually fairly well. So again, striker spotted it, uh, I let them engage it. I thought, well, what could, you know, give it a go. First salvo it doesn't go too well, I mean, I think from the regenerated smoke we actually lose the spot, but if you look in the second salvo, that hit there especially, I think that might have knocked out. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, could obviously also have just immobilised it and all sorts. We do get that little person icon, so... Maybe. We'll wait and see. Hopefully we'll get sight back shortly. But yeah, generally things going pretty well, identifying a few more Russian positions. And uh, yeah, starting to clean up this side of the bank a little bit. Uh, and feeling a bit happy about things. So I'll go trim the orders and maybe we'll come back and see if we can't uh, blow up that tiger over here. Okay, interesting one. The... the uh, Strike here is claiming to be unable to target that unit. See if I'd grab a target command. See if it has no line of sight, which is uh, patently not true. So what I've done is given him actually a, a target command just in the ground in front of it, and hopeful that was enough of an overspell with those grenades that we're going to get the job done. If not, we can close in with some of this infantry, but uh, I'd rather not risk them if I don't have to. Is going to take the time to reload. Thankfully, these guys seem completely blind. Have to watch our, our ammo for these grenades. We are burning through them pretty quickly, but kind of quite happy to use them. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Well, yeah, okay. One guy down. And two guys down. Perfect. And knocked out. Excellent. Okay, that worked fantastically well. No complaints there. Ah, he's still back. I guess we didn't get quite so lucky with those uh, grenade shots. We didn't force it to, to retreat. And oh no, oh no, look, there's one less person than there was before. So we did manage to actually kill that gunner. Excellent. So we know we can stop and he can switch positions. Um, so it's certainly not the action. And I'll probably get you to stop hurling your grenades at this point because you're running. Stags run a little bit low and I have a funny feeling we're going to need them later on. Good. Okay, and you're continuing to engage the 80 position, which I'm happy about. I don't expect us to do too much to it, but if you, you know, get the odd snipe in. This works wonders. I mean, well, we're just clearing out these positions. Grand, so in terms of where I sit in my old time scale, I kind of want 15 minutes to, to to kind of form up on the edge of this woods. I'll probably be not far off that, so I'm pretty happy there. Uh, although we may need to, as I say, wait a little bit if we, depending on how easily or how badly, or easily or how difficultly, I should say, it takes us to deal with these uh, 87 positions. And I just want to grab, quickly given to the briefing, double check what our timing was for the... Yeah, the MGS was supposed to be here at 5 past 6. And we're getting the sappers at 6.15 and the company HQ at 6.15. It is now 6.11, so our MGSs are late. Oh, God, you love it when that happens. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. So I think, I think the rest of this uh, portion is just going to be grinding out these guys. So again, I'll uh, probably do that a little bit off camera. 
The, the uh, attack continues to progress well. One thing that does mildly concern me is how comfortable my strikers are throwing grenades around uh, when our own troops are pretty nearby, <laughs> as you see over here uh, and down here as well. Uh, now, I uh, well, do would like to address that large explosion we saw. So the last remaining RPG troop, which we didn't know about, apparently managed to get sight of this striker through the trees. And as you see, he tried to go out with a bit of a, a final hurrah. Let's go from his position because line of sight is always sometimes a little bit uh, a little bit interesting, but so to be honest, I'd say that's actually fair enough. But I think this is the one he actually shoots at. Yeah. So if anything, he should be having a pop at that guy. Either way, he misses, uh, which is. A good result for us. And then he gets a, a barrel full of grenades for his trouble. I think slightly later on in the minute. And you see, we're just. That's a, fa a fairly aggressive move there with this uh, breaching team, but these guys are all suppressed uh, from lots and lots of fire bases, all having a pretty bad day, so I was okay, comfortable enough with it. Um, and we're just trying to ground out the last of the, the infantry resistance here. We'll come back and address that. Sparking end. <laughs> These guys have nowhere to run. And there goes the uh, the bold RPG man. And these guys have all essentially broken from their position, as you can see towards the end of this minute here. Quite a lot of dead Russians lying around. Especially now we've got the, the engineers up in this flank um, and we've got a squad down on this little bush line as well who are supposed to be dealing with a sniper team haven't managed it yet but hopefully there's enough machine guns here someone's gonna hit um, yeah okay let's deal with actually there's two things first off I want to go back to so I retreated my striker from the forward position who'd been lobbing grenades over at that tiger. Uh, I pulled him back out of the way because he has got my F1 who's controlling the drone. Apparently, he apparently has eagle eyes because he managed to continue to sight the vehicle all the way across the map and uh, wanted to prove that he could make the shot. So launches another barrage. Or maybe two. Not sure it's the best use of his ammunition. But yeah, right on target. Takes out the driver. One more tiger knocked out. All right, fair play to him. Oh, yeah. I think quite like Overkilly. Um, and then that uh, brings us back down to here. So again, wanted to start trying to build up a bit of a, uh, a position on the bank. I was bringing a machine gun to help out, um, and I had a full platoon in here. Uh, sorry, a squad in here. And as you see, when they come in, they start taking some machine gun fire and, and take a couple of flesh wounds. So no injuries but that is definitely disconcerting because we will need to uh, probably get the machine gun out and suppress in that AT position before we can really you know bring in some strikers so I'm I might even I might just pop smoke with them to buy us a bit of time because there's a lot of Russian positions over here um, and we're gonna have a, a job suppress them all and I don't just want to engage in a long-range firefight and start taking casualties uh, so I'm even pull them back slightly in fact that's what I'll do um, shall I get to pop smoke anyway? Yeah, let's have you pop smoke and then pull back? Sure. And then just get to pull back slightly. Okay. And we'll maybe wait a scooch or two before we set up that really forward facing line just so we've got more barrels facing in this general direction before we engage. Because uh, some of these teams can get involved as well. Just long range shots. So again, I want to set them up in here. But yeah, can't complain. Everything's going pretty well. Uh, so yeah, we're slightly behind time, I think. But not, not meaningfully. Uh, we've taken a few casualties. Not ideal, but again, also not the worst. We've taken out this, uh, uh, which must, this Russian probably... Was it a full platoon we've taken out? Three Tigers, bunch of infantry, HQ, some 
uh, anti-tank teams. Yeah, I'd say this is probably a platoon worth of Russians. We've essentially crushed on this bank uh, for the, for one striker and two American, or actually it's going to be six American lives. Not ideal, but happy enough. And uh, then we'll push forward next time. Again, we're going to have to build up just a big mass firebase with troops and hopefully get the MGS involved to knock those guys out. Meanwhile, we will try and close in on that AT position just to uh, protect our flanks. But that's going to have to do next time because I'm running out of time. Um, so we'll call it there. So thanks for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Any thoughts, etc., just leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.